असलम आई एम प्रोफेसर सबा शेख फ्रॉम अंजुमन इस्लाम कालसेकर टेक्निकल कैंपस नवी मुंबई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हार्मोनल कंट्रोल ऑफ फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल सो दिस इज द वेरी गुड डायग्राम दैट आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक टॉटोरा इन दिस डायग्राम यू कैन इजीली अंडरस्टैंड द इफेक्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट हॉर्मोन ऑन फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव साइकिल सो वॉट हैपन्स the gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus this particular hormone that is gnrh it will stimulate anterior pituitary gland to secrete fsh and lh okay fsh is uh, fsh is nothing but follicle stimulating hormone and lh is nothing but luteinizing hormone so first we'll see the effect of fsh so fsh stimulates initial development of ovarian follicle that means it is involved in the maturation of follicle that is from the primordial follicle it is converted into primary follicle from primary to secondary then uh, then secondary to finally a mature graphene follicle this follicle stimulating hormone it also play a very vital role in ovulation that means further development of ovarian follicle and the secretion of estrogen and inhibin it is promoted by under the influence of fsh now the next hormone that is lh that is luteinizing hormone it will stimulate at the same time it will stimulate ovulation and it is also involved in the generation of the corpus luteum and as we know that corpus luteum is very much important for the secretion of estrogen progesterone relaxin and inhibin now let us see the function of each hormone one by one so first one is estrogen so estrogen promote development and maintenance of female reproductive structures feminine secondary sex characteristic and breast development it increases the protein anabolism it also lowers the blood cholesterol and moderate the level of uh, it will moderate level uh, moderate levels inhibit release of gnrh fsh and lh okay the next hormone that is progesterone it work with estrogen to prepare endometrium for implantation it prepares mammary gland to secrete milk and it also inhibit release of gonadotropin releasing hormone and luteinizing hormone the next hormone that is relaxin it will inhibit contraction of uterine smooth muscle during labor increases the flexibility of pubic symphysis and dilate the uterine cervix and the last hormone is inhibin it inhibit the release of fsh and to the lesser extent it will also inhibit the release of lh so basically these are the uh, these are the different effects of hormone on female reproductive cycle so thank you so much